Welcome back to Race Day Daytona. Of course, uh, Chase Elliott, he's ready to go. He's fired up. We are closing in on pre-race concert with Dirks Bentley at 1.30 on the infield grass. Coming up in 90 minutes, the start of the 65th Daytona 500. Now, when I think of NASCAR fans, I think of dedication. I think of passion. I think of mullets. And yes, they do. They wave them proudly as they wave their American flags off the RVs in the infield here. It is one of the many things that sets these fans apart, but I also think about some bullish race predictions. Woo! Let's go! Is this our first 500, or have you guys done this before? I have been here 50 years ago, right here in this infield. Has it changed a bit? Oh, a lot. We're from Every Texas. Year. This is our normal. 15 normal. years we've done this. Yeah! Your buddy? Yeah! Hey! 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 Hey, buddy! Larry! Oh, this is Larry. I thought the other guy was Larry. Did you make that hat yourself? No, I bought it here 12 years ago. 12 years ago? It's a Coors Light box. Do you mind if I uh, if I see what you got up top there? Yeah, here we go! Let it blow, let it grow. I love it that way. You gotta be styling, you know? Styling and profiling. I see, are you rocking a little mole too? Yeah, like... Oh, baby! Woo! I started the trend, just to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Can you grade his mullet? A 10. <laughs> when you run into somebody else with a mullet, uh, do you feel like an instant kinship? It's like that Spider-Man meme, you know? It's like, you know, it's going like, oh, that, that's me. Can we get a thumbs up? Can we get a thumbs got up? Go. Hey! Shit. There you go. Hey. Right there. Okay, that's one thumbs up. Can we no get two? Problem. Can we get two thumbs up? Two! Two thumbs up! Let's go! It was a it was a thumb and a fist pump. Hey! Two thumbs up! Two! There you go! Who is in the hunt on Sunday? See what I did? There you go. I like that. I'd like to see Chase Elliott. Martin Truex Jr. I'm originally from New Jersey, number 19, made in New Jersey. I'm hoping Corey LaJoy will pull it off. Uh, Truex. Truex. Chase Elliott. I'm a, I'm a Chase guy. Number 22, Joey Logano. Yeah, it's probably going to be the 22 car. Oh, well, let me tell you what, though. Ain't nobody better than me and Dale Earnhardt, I can tell you that. <laughs> you, you and Dale Earnhardt? Me and Dale Earnhardt, really? I'm telling you. Okay. How, how did you get looped into that? I, uh, look here, anybody don't like Dale Earnhardt is don't like racing. I know, but you said you and Dale Earnhardt. Well, that's because I'm the king of rock and roll, and oh, yeah. everybody thought Elvis was dead, but I'm back. <laughs> Wait, can you give us a little Elvis sample? <laughs> yes, sir. Are you sincere when you say you love me? Can we give it up for Elvis? <laughs> He's back. The king is back. NASCAR fans are absolutely the best. In fact, I think my mantra for the rest of this year is going to be let it flow, let it grow. So it is the best. So hats off to all the fans uh, that are having a blast here today. I guess this is the time of the show when I give you my prediction and as humble a prediction as I could possibly make. Of course, rooting for the hometown guy, rooting for Eric Almarola. My heart says Eric. My head, though, I'm leaning toward Kyle Larson in that five car. I think somehow... Hendrick gets back into victory lane here by day's end. But you know what? What do I know? Anything could happen. Anything can and will happen here at the Daytona 500, as we see every year where predictions go to die. Uh, this is, of course, to be expected. Daytona 500 ready to kick off the NASCAR season. 90 short minutes. Network coverage is coming up next. Thanks for watching. Race Day Daytona. <laughs>